Hi, my name is Pamidan. I am uh, my native is Chennai. I am an MC graduate and I have done that in Panigal Engineering College. From the school days itself, I am very much interested in computer science and I have taken a computer science group in my higher secondaries. Followed by that, I have done my Bachelor of Computer Application and I have successfully completed my Master of Computer Application. Um, in talking about my technical skills, uh, I am very much proficient in a programming language like C, C++ and COBOL and databases like DB2 and Oracle. And the front end tools which I have done is Kix and Visual Basics and the operating systems which I have worked with OS 390 which is based on mainframe and uh, Windows XP. Apart from my studies, I am very much interested in the extracurricular activities like sports, uh, cultural activities and arts. I am a volleyball player and I have won a district level of championship during my school days. Not only that, I have also participated in many symposium competitions and I have won some prizes during my college. Talking about my project, I have done my MCA project in mainframe. The reason why I have chosen the mainframe as my platform means I have to give some specification and specialization for my project and I like to learn something new. And I have successfully completed my project and also the certification in mainframe. Getting into my project, the title of my project is Secure and Reliable ATM Transaction System. The, the term, what is secure and reliable? In the main, nowadays, most of our clients are using mainframe as a backend server, for like for example, bank, ATM, and in driver reservation. Why? Because they are need to store large amount of data as a backend and large amount of customer information. So, mainframe is more reliable for them. And how it is secure? Now, it is there is a chances for a system crash and technical terms can be collapsed and there is some disasters can also happen like a fire accident. In the day-to-day -day mainframe processes, it, all the data will be stored in a tape. So, in this term, it will be secure. And as per my project, ATM, which has been already done, why what I am doing in the new thing? I have added a new model in this project and I have done some specific innovations in this model. For example, taking withdrawal. What is the withdrawal process? Taking amount from an ATM. That's it. In the older process, the customer wants to swipe the card and it will, it will ask for a PIN number. Once he enters the PIN number, it will go for a module screen. In that module screen, he will enter the module like withdrawal. Once you enter the withdrawal, it will take you to the withdrawal screen. In that withdrawal screen, it will just ask for the balance, now how much amount you want. That's it. In that time, customer has some confusion. Whether I am taking the amount from my account or some other account. And another thing is whether I have a sufficient balance in my account or not. So these are the two drawbacks in the order process. How I can, if you want to check your balance recovery, he again comes out, come out and he again want to swap, swipe and he enter the pin number and go for a balance inquiry and he again come out and go for a withdrawal. So for a single process you have to do three works in the same time. So in this new project I have done that how it means I will explain. Well, once the customer swipe the card it will ask for a pin number and he go for a withdrawal model and go for a withdrawal screen. In the withdrawal screen itself he will get, get both the options like his account number as well as the amount he have in his bank. So the customer will be satisfied with that is that he is taking his amount from his account itself and also he has a sufficient balance. Once the customer doesn't have a sufficient balance, he just get out of the process. So these are the new things which I have added in the withdrawal mode. And also I have introduced a new model like bill payments. Nowadays bill payments have been done in most of the places like in online, like in bank, post office, etc. Why it is not to be done in the ATM? So I have added the new model. Once the customer swipe the card, he will enter the print number and he go for a model. In that model, he will have the option like bill payment. Once he click the bill payment, he will go for a bill payment process. In that, he will have two options like electricity bill and telephone bill. Once he click the telephone bill, he will go for a telephone bill payment process. In that process, it was a simple thing in which the customer have to enter only his bill number. Once he enter the bill number, it will generate all his information like his name, his telephone number and how much amount you he want to pay. In that, after that, he will have two options, whether he want to pay or cancel the process. If he click the pay button, it will pay the amount, it will, the amount will be automatically debited from your account and the bill will be successfully paid. 
or else if you don't want to pay the bill means you just click the cancel button and it will take you to the mobile screen the same process will be done for the electricity bill also so this will be more customer and user friendly and it will save the time for the customer and all the things has been done in the same ATM machine itself this was a new one innovative and a new thing which I have added in my project and the final thing which I want to tell is if I have selected as a candidate in your organization I will put my entire effort and skill for the growth of my organization thank you